This is a wonderful, luscious lemon recipe I'm dedicating to my husband of 34 years. Happy anniversary, honey. I think we've done pretty good. Let me show you how to make this. We're gonna get down to making this homemade quick and easy lemon curd. First of all, I've got two whole eggs and then three egg yolks. We're going to whisk the two whole eggs and the three egg yolks together well. I'm pouring in the half a cup of lemon juice. I'm gonna whisk this another couple of minutes until it's well blended. Now we're gonna add a cup of sugar to this. A whole cup of sugar. We're going to blend it very well and whisk it until it's smooth. And I'm going to scrape down the sides and then guess where we're going to cook it, y'all? In the microwave! Yeah, my favorite easy place so I don't burn things. The microwave. But since my butter is unsalted, I'm going to add a dash, just a few shakes of the salt shaker, probably an eight to teaspoon if that of salt. That balances out the sweet. So, I think that looks great. I'm gonna scrape down the sides and we're gonna add the butter and get it in the microwave. I chunked up into little bitty pieces the whole stick of butter, which was grade A butter, and it was unsalted. Just distribute that around evenly with the egg and the sugar mixture that has the lemon juice in it as well. And we're gonna microwave it starting in one minute increments. And this is on high. It's not gonna look like much at times. You just stick your little whisk in there and whisk it up. And what we're trying to prevent is for any scrambled eggs to happen. So whisk and make sure you whisk it well. Another minute. And it basically is a very sweet, very loose lemon sauce at this point. So let's put it back in there for another minute. Number three, away. It is starting to come together. See how it's starting to congeal? But yet we still have the loose parts. That's why is it so important to whisk, whisk, whisk in between the minutes that you microwave it. Now I have a pretty powerful microwave. I think it's about 1200 watts. If you have a lower wattage microwave, this may take a few more minute rounds, but what I'm showing you is what it's going to eventually look like. Let's get it in there. Minute number four. Minute number four away. One thing I'm going to say is you don't want to use too small of a bowl and don't walk away from it until you know it's not going to boil over. Now this is after minute number four. And can you see how it's kind of turned into like a jello pudding kind of thing? Well, essentially that's what lemon curd is, is a homemade pudding. Except it doesn't have milk in it. It's all thickened by the egg yolks and the eggs and the sugar and just the chemical reaction that you get from that. So we're almost there. It's still a little too loose for me, but it's to the point where I'm going to start looking at it coated the back of a spoon. All right, when I turn it over, it's almost there. I think I'm only gonna do it for 30 more seconds because we're almost there. And by the time it cools down, I think it may be where I want it. Usually if you just put push start on your microwave, it does 30 seconds. Cooking things like this in the microwave keeps it from burning on top of the stove. And this is how I make my homemade chocolate pie as well. If you want to look up that recipe, it's delicious. But look at here, y'all. I think we're there. This is lemon curd that you can spoon over pound cake. You can stuff cupcakes with. You can put it between lemon cake layers, which makes it oh so good. It really coats the spoon this time, y'all. When I pour it off, it stays on the spoon. Do you see that? So that's what you want it for not to run off the spoon. So I think we're there. Let me show you how to cool this down. Any filling will cool faster if you pour it into a couple of plates because it increases the surface area. Pop it into the fridge or freezer. Let me show you how it's now creamy and it's together. And when you pull it back, you can see it does not move. 
If anybody's wondering, this is my cupcake thing that I hollow out the inside and then you push out the little middle. Then you can have a husband that loves to get the middles of your cupcakes. <laughs> or you can fill it a little bit and then push the top back on. But I'm gonna fill it a lot, so I'm not gonna put the tops back on. And this, my dear, is how you go from a bunch of hollowed out lemon cupcakes to... Ta-da! Look at them all beautifully plumped up with a bunch of lemon curd and the last few with sweetened strawberries. They're gonna get the same strawberry buttercream. Y'all need to check that icing out. You can have this recipe, or if you love it so good, you can keep it in the refrigerator up to about a week, if it lasts that long. Thank you guys so much for watching. We sure appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button. Take care.